Okay, well here we are up in Nesto. There's Patrick. There's Ken. We got Keith backing up the trailer. Sorta. Sorta. And uh, we're rescuing these eagles from the perils of destruction. So right now Dean is in assessing how much is good on it. He's probably going to comb through. Oh, he's got the, oh, wicked. 1986 glove box literature, exactly what I was looking for. Oh, there you go. Well, that was worth the trip then, wasn't it? There's 600 bucks right there. Oh, well. Okay, well, maybe you could sell it and make up your money. It's not like you need the literature. You got it in your head. You got it all memorized. Why? What's that? What's that oh, he's got $600 worth of AMC hey. literature. Hey. If someone really desperate wants it, that is. Okay. Anyways, this is the one with the good interior. There's a there's a minor crease on the driver's side right here, but otherwise the opera windows are what Dean calls opera windows are got some corrosion and rot underneath the underneath the vinyl roof. The wagon is well I, I still feel it's a parts car. Dean doesn't think it's that far gone. Hey, there's one good taillight in it. But she's mangled a bit, as you can see. She's a bit twisted. And uh, there's some rod issues. There's looks like somebody already went through and did some stripping to it. They started to peel it apart anyways, as you can see. Stuff's pretty dirty, and they started to pull the dash apart. Um, grill smashed. And you can see the damage on this side. And this is October 30th, 2010. There's some damage there. Now you can see the crease on the four door right there. So we don't know what hit it. I'll pause it there. Okay, so in the four door, the motor actually looks surprisingly clean or well oiled. It actually looks pretty decent. No, no uh, fluid in the radiator, which is not a good sign. So yeah. that tells me uh, either blown radiator or you've got a major tranny uh, leak or blown head gasket. So. And the fact that they've taken the rad cap off tells me it's probably a head gasket because they're trying to drop, drop the pressure in the building out. That's just... Your two cents? Yeah. Uh, good. Not that I've ever had to do crap like that. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't joke. It really doesn't. Joke. Yeah. <laughs> So here's the two door. This is a 1980. Oh, oh no! What? Never mind. What'd you do? I oh. Lost in the shoe, I think. So there's some damage, as you can't see. There's damage to the engine bonnet, and along here they can't see it. Of course, they're whining about how little damage it has, but they don't see all the all of it. <laughs> but. Uh, the shitty thing is, is every panel on this side has got some sort of damage to it, whether it's minor or major, and the hood. And the upper windows are rotting. But the underside looks okay. If I remember correctly, I think even the trunk has a dent in it or something. I can't remember. The taillights are in good shape. This looks like it's uh, damn near crispy. The driver's side is in a little better shape, but you can see the opera windows are rotting. Okay, let's have a look at this motor. Oh, look at that. Ain't that a beauty? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's quality stuff. The fresh engine, right? That's the fresh engine. Oh, boy, you're in trouble now, Dean. Well, somebody spent some time on this. It's got some shiny parts. Yeah. I don't know about that intake. Including the bolt in the uh, vacuum line. So. Yeah. yeah. Someone's charcoal canister is removed. See so that? They've stripped this thing. It's probably That's an older intake left. manifold too. Look at that. It's yeah. Modified for performance is what I like. <laughs> <laughs> it's modified for. Oh, this thing should spark we'll, right up there. Uh, we'll go with that then. Yeah. We'll let you. We'll let you have it. Diamond Z Auto and small motor repair. Great. Probably worth looking into them. See how good a work they do. Yeah, because they, they're really proud of their work because they put two stickers in there. <laughs> or, or they did it twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Good one, Pat. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a bad sign. <laughs> but we've got a nice shiny new valve cover. All right. And this is supposed to be the rebuilt one. Woohoo! Well, believe it or not, we actually got it up. Didn't take any time at all. Probably about 20 minutes to get this sucker up. Now we gotta chain it down and haul it to a task win. Then come back for the two door. That ain't the two door. Come back for that little beast. There's Ken. Ah, good job. So she's on the trailer. Now all they have to do is haul it the frig out of here. Okay, we're almost ready to roll. Yeah, just a bit. We're almost ready to get out of here. It's all 1225. And uh, we're almost ready to rock and roll. They're going to try and strip the wagon down as best they can. We're going to try and get this to roll out of there. There's Ken and Pat. It's October 30th and it's almost 1230. And we're almost ready to get out of here. Dean with his prize. Yeehaw. You've almost accumulated every different type of uh, eagle there is. He's got an SX4, he's got a two door, he's got two four, he's got two two doors, he's got a four door, and he's got two wagons. <laughs> he needs a cam back. A cam back. Yeah. And a I don't think he's gonna acquire one of those unless it's rotten to the core. Then he'll probably still take it. <laughs> <laughs> Just to say he has one. <laughs> All righty. Let's get chemical, chemical. I want to get chemical. Let's get into chemicals. Let me see your nose bleed. Your nose bleed. Right? Yeah. We'll leave them to it and let them haul ass and we'll get the hell out of here yeah, with this thing. Ass. Yeah, really. All right. That looks like a Ford Temple from the It does, doesn't it? It wasn't for the curved back. I think so. There's Ken. Oh, there's uh, Keith and Ken. And we're ready to roll. Have fun, guys.